Hey everybody, Jeremy here again, bringing you a quick Windows video. Uh, AMD has released a new driver to fix the bug in Windows 11. And this is version 3.10.08.506. I found this article on Digital Trends. It popped up in my news feed this morning and they do link over to the AMD website. And I will put that in the description for this video. So over here on the AMD site, obviously it just gives you some information and a download link. And of course, everybody knows how to do the downloads. I should have that downloaded already and we will see about getting it installed. Here we go. Let's close out the browser window. And we'll run that as administrator. And that should be fine. And likely we'll have to do a reboot on this. Or maybe not. We'll see in a moment. We are actually making some progress here. Full install, factory reset recommended. Factory reset will remove all prior versions of AMD Radeon software and drivers and temporarily pauses Windows update on your system. You'll not be able to roll back to previously installed drivers. That's fine with me. The other options are minimal install and driver only, but since there's nothing of great importance on this machine at this point in time I'm going to let it do the recommended install and we'll let all of those go on and we'll see if there's any change after this is installed. I'm not really expecting any since this is a 35 watt part. Uh, it is a Ryzen 7 3750H. As I've mentioned before, it's basically a laptop processor which is in use by this B-Link mini PC. However, the installation procedure would be the same on other AMD based systems. Downloading packages, doing a little advertising for some games that are coming out. Start the computer. So I'm going to pause the video here and I'll come back after the restart. Alright, so something a little funky has happened with the remote display resolution. I'm not sure why entirely. On the monitor that's connected directly to this computer, it's displaying in the full screen. But I'm curious to see what happens to be going on. Oh. So the display that's connected directly to this is in a stretched 1024 by 768. And it just bumped to 1280 by 720. Uh, I'm not sure why it's not doing 1920 by 1080. And there it goes. And it 
looks like we've got to do one more restart. Well, EMD to connect. Uh, no. One more restart. <clears throat> I will pause the video once again. Correctly, as correctly as can be uh, ascertained from Windows 11, but uh, the I typically run in VirtualBox. Uh, that should be interesting. Uh, and we will find out. And as I work more with this new system, you will be seeing more Windows videos on this channel. And so let me know down in the comments if you are in favor of that or if you just want me to stick to Linux content. Uh, again, if you're fairly new to the channel, you may not have heard that I do support Windows, Linux, and Mac OS in different situations. So uh, it was important for me to have access to a machine that met the specs to run Windows 11. And that's that's what I got with this, this B-Link system. So uh, head on down to the comments and let me know what you think. And feel free to tell a friend, a coworker, a family member about these videos and maybe they will get something out of them as well. Stay safe out there, have a great day, and happy computing. I'll see you in the next video.